What's up YouTube? Andreas Shriver here. I'm a professional basketball player overseas. Here to give you some insight to the professional world overseas, whether it be workouts, how to jump higher, uh, getting a D1 scholarship, entering the door into the agency world, what kind of agent do you want to look for, all those kind of things. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel so these videos come directly to you. Uh, and make sure you have an, if you have any questions or comments, that you leave them in the comments section below. Uh, I'll answer them, maybe I'll make a specific video about them. Um, but I want to make sure that we touch base on everything so that nobody's confused. Um, and the first thing I want to talk about is exposure. How do you become exposed uh, to the market overseas? Um, obviously the teams are located overseas. How do they even know that you exist? So we're going to talk about that. Make sure that you stay until the end of this video because I'll give you two websites you can go to to check out agencies in the Asian and the European market and you can, you know, contact them, email blast them with your highlight tapes. Maybe you'll get picked up that way. So let's talk about exposure. Uh, how do you become exposed? Where do you go? Where are agents? Where are scouts located? So the first uh, and best option would probably go to a D1 college. I mean, it makes sense, right? You know. The D1 colleges are the, where the best athletes are, where the best basketball players are. Americans are notorious for being the best basketball players in the world. Uh, so that's where European uh, and Asian teams will look for uh, players. If you have a specific skill set, then make sure you have that on your highlight tape and make sure you, um, you know, show off those skills. Uh, usually European teams are looking for specific roles. They won't be they're not gonna, it's not gonna be a like college where you pretty much everybody needs to know how to do everything. Uh, you have to have, a, you know, if you're a good rebounder, you have to be a great rebounder if, if that's what your thing is. If you're a shooter, you have to be a great shooter. So you have to fill specific roles on a professional team. Uh, the D1 colleges, usually you'll get headhunted. I was headhunted, 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 headhunted. Even though I was headhunted by a few agents and I was picked up that way. You know, my first contract was a Spanish contract, it was a great market. And I didn't do amazingly in college. I did decently well, but I wasn't amazing. But I had a European passport that helped me a lot. Um, so if you have any kind of passport, a European passport, chase it down. That's really important. The second way of getting exposure is direct tryouts. This will be when like a team calls you up and they'll say, well, we're interested, but we're not exactly sure if you fit the system. Uh, they may pay for your flight, they may pay for food and hotel. Usually they'll pay for, uh, you know, yeah, your traveling and stuff, but you're only there for a few weeks to show off your talent and make sure that you have prepared yourself to show off your talent. I mean, that's the biggest loss is, is when you have, you're not prepared and, you know, I, I see people all the time making excuses, oh, I, I didn't make the team because I didn't fit their system, but you need to be prepared to be able to show off your skill set, and you need to be amazing at the skills that you're doing, so accept the grind. Uh, the third option would be exposure camps. Uh, these are camps where you pay a couple hundred dollars and you head into camp and show off your skills against other players, and there'll be coaches, there'll be scouts, there'll be agents in the crowd, um, and so it's pretty much like, you know, any other camp, but I'm honestly, from my personal experience, uh, which is pretty limited anyways, but I've never actually heard of coaches, European coaches, pick up uh, players while being at an exposure camp. Um, maybe I'm wrong, so if I'm wrong, let me know, but uh, it's my personal opinion that uh, people are just trying to sell you a dream and trying to get money from you. So uh, that's my personal opinion. If you disagree, then I accept, but uh, anyways, let's go on to the fourth um, option you have, which is summer leagues, um, summer league tournaments. These are usually competitive tournaments where college players, D1 college players, NBA players, other professional players come back to play uh, competitive basketball in the summer when it's off season. You know, they'll be working out and usually there'll be uh, one or two games a, a week and there'll be agents in the crowd and scouts in the crowd and usually it'll be bigger cities that will putting, be putting on these these uh, pro AMs and, and stuff but uh, I would recommend checking that out. Um, if you do go to these camps or if you go to these tournaments 
make sure you mingle a lot, make sure you hand out people your information, make sure they, you know, you have DVDs on hand, whatever you gotta do to get exposure. I uh, promised two websites, uh, let me give them to you right now. The first one is www.hoopsagents.com. Go check that out. Um, the next one is eurobasket.com slash agents. There are lots of agents out there who are looking for clients. Now you have to be someone who has uh, credit. They won't pick up somebody just off the street, but you have to have some kind of skill set that, that they know that they can represent. So good luck out there and I'll talk to you guys later.